A stationary front continues to drift to our south, but that will keep rain chances around at least for Tuesday. I'm meteorologist Dr. Athena Masson. Our rain chances, again, still possible throughout the morning and even into the afternoon, otherwise overcast conditions. Our temperatures at around 6 a.m. starting out already into those lower 60s, but could dip down just a little bit more, reaching our low temperatures a little bit later in the day, around 9 to 10 o'clock in the morning. By noon, already rising up into those mid-60s, but we are not rising by much even into the afternoon. Most of us getting up into those upper 60s. Some of us could even reach 70 degrees. But there will be that chance of showers continuing throughout the day and even into the overnight. For those areas that do not pick up any sprinkles, not to worry, we do have another chance beginning Wednesday. As for Tuesday, though, that stationary front picking up speed and moving off into the Atlantic. Still some moisture just behind it that could crank out some scattered showers throughout the day on Tuesday. But notice we do have this low pressure system that will be deepening and forming in the central Gulf of Mexico, and that will start to lift up into portions of the Florida panhandle and arriving into North Florida likely very early Wednesday morning. So this will be the time that we start to see an increase in our showers, even some thunderstorm chances. By Wednesday afternoon and into the evening, low pressure continuing off towards the east into the Atlantic. High pressure begins to build in. That's not just going to be lasting for Thursday, but also in into Friday as well. Over the next couple of days, though, Tuesday and Wednesday, our rain chances sticking around. We do have a better shot, though, for Wednesday as that low pressure system moves into our area, drying on out with slightly cooler temperatures going down into those lower 70s for Thursday and Friday.